Kings. This is Sean with BoxingAssociates.com. Let's talk about the Kell Brook versus Carson Jones fight. Wow, what a fight. If you watched it, you got a chance to see it, you see that Kell Brook controlled the first six rounds of the fight, dominating. Then in the seventh round, I believe, what well, they're saying the eighth round he got his nose broke. But I'm thinking in the seventh round is when he got his nose cracked real good and broke. Um, I think it was from a punch. I don't think it was a head, I think it was a punch. But anyway, um, after he broke his nose, it seemed like Carson Jones started to take over. And um, of course, anybody knows your nose gets broke, you can't breathe. And if you saw it, he was bleeding heavily around the eighth round, eighth, ninth round, he was bleeding heavily out of his nose. He got cracked pretty hard with that. So, um, you know, with that being said, he was exhausted, he was wearing down. And I think around the 10th round, he kind of rallied back through a lot of good combos and stuff for like the first two minutes and then about the last minute Carson Jones came on. That's always been hard to judge. Do you judge the first two minutes of a fight or the last minute of the fight? Every judge counts it different. And then um, they went back exchanging and about the twelfth round Kell Brook is completely exhausted. He can barely breathe out his nose. He's exhausted. He can't get his win. And Carson Jones went on him. Like he had him hurt that last thirty seconds. But End up being a controversial split decision. Um, Kell Brook won, um, I think, 115 and 113. Um, one of them had a 114 and 114. And I think one other one was 116 and 112, I believe. Something along those lines. Good fight, good or hard fight. Um, shows that Kell Brook does have some toughness. Um, I think he edged it out. I had him winning by, uh, I'm going to say, at least... 115-113 uh, like one of the judges had it because he did dominate the first six rounds and then uh, one of those rounds maybe it was like the ninth tenth round gave him another one which put him over the edge and gave him seven rounds to five 115-113 close fight he survived uh, I think his nose being broke had a lot to do with it not being able to breathe and he was exhausted um, he didn't quit so I was kind of happy with that so Let's see what's next. It looks like he's in line for the Devin Alexander versus Randa Bailey fight. Either one of those fights would be a very good fight. So, till next time, Boxing Socialist, we're out.